Why, hello there. My name is Dr. Vro. I'm a human mammal psychiatrist, and I have a very important presentation about Tarzan. I believe I have evidence about his, let's say, nocturnal emissions, and who exactly he might be dreaming about, and it's not who you think. So the movie starts off with a montage showing the similarities between humans and gorillas. This also extends to real life. Here's a clip of Shaq. No, but y'all don't believe me, so I want to call my guy from the zoo. This is Ron McGill, the director of the Miami Zoo. Tell him what happens when I walk by the uh, gorilla exhibit. Uh, he gets intimidated, and he looks at Shaq and thinks that Shaq's going to take away his girls. He knows who's the boss. He said he thinks Shaq's going to take his girls! <laughs> <laughs> but back to the movie. At this point in the movie, Tarzan's parents die. And a gorilla family also loses their child to the same leopard. Then, Kala, after losing her son, thinks she hears him and she wanders off, eventually finding Tarzan. Which leads Tarzan joining the family, so the family's made up of a gorilla mom, gorilla sister, gorilla father, and a human son. And the father constantly makes sure to remind Tarzan that he is not one of them, which makes him always try to earn people's respect and cherish those close to him. But the more interesting part of the story is when Jane comes to the island and we see Tarzan's foot fetish. Now hear me out, I believe I can diagnose Tarzan with podophilia, which is used to describe a person with a sexual interest in feet. Now you might not believe me, but look at this scene. Jane is being chased by monkeys and Tarzan has to save her. But out of all the places he could have grabbed, he chooses the foot. All right, all right, that, that's a bit of a stretch. But when they finally get some alone time, the very first thing he does is play with their feet. All right, now this is 4K. This dude is freaky. Um, Dr. Vro, what are you yapping about right now? Like, what is your point? I'm just saying ape feet are real similar to human feet. Yeah, I'm taking away his mic. He's not even a real doctor. But to answer everyone's burning question, he probably had his first wet dream about a female gorilla, and I know who. While there is big differences from the book series and the movie, they aren't too far off. And one of the books mentions his first love. And just to clarify, this is a story from Jungle Tales of Tarzan, not Tarzan of the Apes, that the Disney movie is explicitly based on, but they're all from the same author, and it's in the same series. So, Tarzan's first love starts with a young Tarzan admiring Tika, a female gorilla who was his playmate as a kid. But as time went on, Tarzan grew romantic feelings. But then we're introduced to Toog. I don't know how to say his name, and I don't care. All my niggas hate him. We ride with Tarzan. But then Toog, a male gorilla, wants Tika. So that makes Tarzan jealous. Seeing Toog caress Tika, Tarzan decides to confront him, which ends up having Toog jump on Tarzan which makes them fight. Tika enjoys being the center of attention, and it's explained that this is regular ape behavior. But then, out of nowhere, Shita, a leopard, comes out of nowhere and attacks Tika. Tarzan notices it immediately, stops fighting Toog, and fights for her, and ends up protecting her. But at the same time, Toog is captured by some warriors. Tarzan has a dilemma, if he should save him, or just let him die, and have Tika to himself. But he decides to help him out. He saves Toog, but he does not end up getting the girl, because Tika and Toog end up together. Tarzan finally understands him and Tika wouldn't work. Just cause he could have her, doesn't mean he should. And being someone you're not isn't always bad, since it resulted in Tarzan saving two people, but he didn't let his desires become delusions. So I say all that because he 1000% dreamed about her monkey cheeks, and maybe her feet too.